Hey what's going on guys, Nati here and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this clean, minimalistic logo instead of Adobe Photoshop. So what you'll need for this tutorial is of course Photoshop, preferably any version above CS6 should do fine as it should look pretty similar to what you're seeing right now. So to get started with this tutorial, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new document. You can do that by pressing Ctrl and N at the same time. For this tutorial, I'm going to be naming this document logo. And then what you want to do is you want to change the width to 1000 pixels and the height to 1000 as well. You want to put the resolution to 300 pixels slash inch and put the color mode to RGB color 8 bit and press create. Now the first thing I like to do with almost all of my logos is to change the background color to a more dark color. You can easily do that by going to the left of your window and clicking on this black color right here. And you can change this color to whatever you want. I'm going to be using the hex code 171717. I'm going to be pressing OK. And then to fill in the background, I'm just going to be pressing Alt and Backspace. Next, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a new layer right here. Click in this icon right there. And then pressing B on my keyboard to open up my brush tool. And then I'm going to right click and put the hardness to 0% and the size to about 1250. Next I'm going to swap these colors around so I can have a white color. Now I'm going to be zooming out of my canvas. You can do that by pressing Ctrl, Alt and then scrolling down. It should zoom out for you. And then you just want to press right on top of the black space right here. There's a small dot. There we go. You can zoom back in by pressing Ctrl and Alt and then scrolling up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the opacity right here to about 50%. Now what I'm going to be doing is adding my text. You can easily do that by pressing T on your keyboard and it should open up the text tool. Next I'm going to select my font. I'm going to be using the font prototype. This is a completely free font so you can download it in the description below on thefont.com. Now I'm going to be setting the size to about 105 and setting the color to a white color and then selecting anywhere on the screen and backspacing whatever is already in there and then writing our first letter. For me I'm going to be using the letter S as my name is Snatic and that's the first letter of my name. So I'm just going to be writing capital S. I'm going to be pressing the check mark, press V on your keyboard to get the selection tool, press Ctrl and A at the same time and click these to move this into the center. Press Ctrl D to deselect and now we can move on to the next step. Next what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making sure that this S logo right here is big enough. In my opinion it's not that big so I'm just going to be pressing Ctrl and T to transform it. And then I'm going to be pressing Alt and then dragging out so it will stay in the position that it is currently. I'm going to be pressing Enter when I'm done and it should have made it bigger. Next what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be rasterizing the layer. You can do that by going onto the text layer right here, right clicking and rasterize type. What I'm going to be doing now is adding a border to the S, so we can easily do that by duplicating it by pressing Ctrl and J at the same time. And then pressing Ctrl and hovering above this transparent bit right here and it should select it for you. Next we're going to go up to Select, Modify, Expand and expand it by about 10 pixels. Press OK and then we're going to fill this in by pressing Alt and Backspace and it should fill it in for you. Press Ctrl and D to deselect once again. And now we're going to be actually creating the border. So we can do that by double clicking on the S copy or whatever letter you chose. Double clicking on the side and it should open up this layer styles panel. Next what I'm going to do is going to put the fill opacity to 0% and then adding a stroke to it and make sure it is outside and around 10 pixels. You can experiment with this however you like but for this tutorial I'm going to be using 10. I'm going to be making sure the blending modes is on normal and opacity at 100 and the color is white. Press OK and rasterize the layer. Next, what I'm going to be doing is adding a gradient to the stroke itself to give it some extra color. You do that obviously by double clicking on the side of it, opening up layer styles and then going to gradient overlay and adding your gradient right here. I'm going to be using this gradient right here and if you want to know the colors for each of these, the color for the blue is 00 a6ff and for the purple one the hex code is ff00b7 press again ok ok and making sure everything is at the highest and go opacity 100 style linear angle 0 and scale 150 and blending mode normal press ok and rasterize the layer once again 
Next what I'm going to be doing is adding a border to it. So we can easily do that by double clicking on this background icon here with the lock on it. Click it once to unlock it and double click to open up the layout styles. I'm going to be duplicating the layer first so I can still have the background. So I'm going to press Ctrl J and then I'm going to do it right here on this layer 0 copy. Double click on it and put the fill opacity to 0 and the stroke to inside this time and pulling it to around 25. Pressing OK and rasterizing it and again putting on my gradient. Rasterizing once again and now we have a border around it. Now what I personally like to do with some of these logos is add a background to it so you can easily do that by going into the description below and going on to pexels.com. This website is a free site we can get free high quality images. So I like to use this in some of my graphic designs. Some of you, you may just want to go on Google and find images there but I feel like this is a better option. So I'm going to be using this picture right here so I'm just going to click on it right click and copy the image and go back to photoshop press ctrl and v at the same time to paste it now i'm going to be zooming out by pressing ctrl and alt and scrolling down and making this a bit smaller just about the size of the canvas so i'm going to center it and that seems about good and what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be moving this under my border and then pressing ctrl and u at the same time to open up the human saturation properties. I'm going to be turning down the saturation all the way down and then pressing OK and then turning down the opacity on the background itself. So I think a nice 25 should do good or you can still experiment with this and find out what's best. So yeah we got the logo done. That's pretty much it and if you want to save it what I like to do is to press on the top layer and shift on the bottom layer. It should select it all and then press this group icon and then I like to press ctrl J to duplicate it, turn off the look on the group one and then for the top one press ctrl E to make an image, ctrl J once again, go on to filter, other, high pass and put the radius to about 10 pixels, ok and then change the blending mode to an overlay and put it down just a bit so like a 25 should be good here. Now just you want to select both of them, Control and E and it should merge them together. Now to save it you just go on to file, export, save for web legacy, set it to PNG24 and put the quality to by cubic sharper and put the preview to internet standard RGB no color management. Press save and it should be saved for you. So yeah if you guys have enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and consider subscribing. I'll be trying uploading videos more like this soon and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video.